Okay, today I'm going to show you my uh, recent little invention, which is a handy dandy wallet. This was what designed to replace an older design of mine, which was, as you can see, a very roughly made a card holder. And it would consist of these two sections. This section slides over the top. Um, but I found it hard to find these plastic things, and as you see, this one's very badly worn. So, enough about that. This little invention hopefully is designed to wander around in your wallet and carry just some bare essentials, plus a couple of nifty gadgets. Not exactly that easy to handle one-handed, but we'll see how we go. Now, I understand ordinarily that uh, your credit card probably doesn't have tape all over it, but um, I don't really want people grabbing the number off this. Okay, there goes the lid, and there goes our note. Okay, typically you would only pull the cover off halfway, and that would allow you to slip notes in on top. We'll get rid of that. We have on the top here our mock card for the day. That just drops out. Now in here we have several different holders uh, for micro SD cards, for a $2 coin, Australian $2 coin of obvi obviously. Um, micro SD card or standard SD card. I've got a pick which I will explain later. Um, this in the top here is a little, mic a little micro radio tracker made by a company called Locator if you spelt it with an 8 instead of an AT. Um, I'll post all that information in the links on the Thingiverse account. Up in the top here, we've got a bit of variable space just for whatever you might want to carry. This also holds, holds two more $2 coins, and you can stack them three high, possibly four if you try and squeeze it in. And uh, However, that will rattle a little bit. Up to you if you don't mind rattling change. Now, where this little pick comes in handy... Now, I've, I've had some dental work done, so I carry one of these all the time. Uh, however, this little toothpick bit is kind of handy. If we turn over to the other side, if an item doesn't happen to drop out, there are holes behind all of these that we can poke this toothpick through and pop the coins out. So, although in this case we've just bent the hell out of the toothpick. I may have a little bit more finishing and adjustment to do with this, but uh, by the time it gets the thingiverse, I should have done all of that. But... Um, there's probably a little bit of work and some modifications. Let me know if you like, because I am considering making a design where these two slots hit the end so it's a bit more narrow. Not everybody carries cargo pants like mine. So let me know uh, what you think. If you've got another remake, I can supply the source files for you. Anyway, enjoy happy printing.